This is a quick video that's going to show diversity reception in the Apache Labs Anand G2. And uh, we start first with receiver one only being configured, only being displayed. And the signal that's coming into receiver one is coming from a DX Commander multiband uh, vertical antenna. We go into setup and under general and ADC, for analog to digital converter, we confirm that ADC0 is handling RX1 and ADC1 is handling RX2. In other words, we're using the hardware in its full capacity using both analog to digital converters. So the other thing to note is that I've got here the uh, display for the diversity control, the facing control. And now we're going to turn on RX2 and what Thetas displays now is the uh, pan adapter display up here and also the waterfall display right down here for receiver one. And down here, only the waterfall for receiver two, as you can tell from these two options here. I'd like to call your attention to the obvious fact that the second receiver, which is by the way being driven by an NFET half wave antenna out in the backyard, in a sloper configuration, but essentially it's a, a sloping up to a tree, sloping down from the tree and going onto the fence line, which is a six foot fence and riding the top of the fence until the end of the 60 foot, the 67 foot uh, wire. Uh, it's coming in better. The signal from there is coming better than the DX commander. We've noticed that in some bands, in some signals, this may be the case. In other signals, it may be the other way around. So uh, we're still muted. So let's go ahead and unmute and raise the volume. Noise reduction is turned off. Everything is turned off. And we notice here that we have presets. Let me mute. The diversity control allows for shift click to select presets that have worked for us in the past. This is exactly what I've done here. I've tried uh, six different positions with different signals and different bands, and I've had this good luck in my area here. So I've programmed M1 through M6. Notice that M7 and M8 can be programmed at a later date. Uh, the receiver source shows both RX1 and RX2. And the reference uh, source, I found myself changing that around from receiver 1 to receiver 2 to optimize the reception. We'll see how that works here in a second. Notice that the button is uh, green for enabled for diversity reception. Let's unmute. And now we can go ahead and proceed to change the different presets to see how they are working. Let's do that. So we leave it at M3 and now we can continue with noise reduction and noise blanking if we need to. So let's see what noise reduction does. Range of answer. 24 for Jimmy. 31 for Tom in Indiana. Mahawk is saying 30. Plus for Winnix. The answer is 31 years and 165 days. We've got K9LV and a takeaway. Hello, Tom. So we can see that the uh, we, we can play around with which receiver we're using as the reference uh, and then program that in and then we can opt use the, the diversity reception as another tool in addition to noise reduction and uh, now in passing we notice that the different bands will behave differently uh, so for example I've just changed to 40 meters and you see that the signals are definitely coming in very well on the DX commander but not so well as you can tell in this signal in the NFET half wave. So that is another thing that I've noticed. Let's unmute it and see a test signal here. And we 
Okay, so I've just changed the bandwidth to 2.9K. That seemed to be more in line with, with what this uh, colleague was transmitting at. I uh, tried NR2 as a noise reduction algorithm to use and uh, tried M1, which is feeding off of receiver 2 as a reference. So that seemed to give the best results. As you can tell now, if we go to another band, uh, maybe 20 meters, we have some signals here. Uh, not as many, but some. Let's go over here to this one and unmute. This one is a particularly weak signal, and both the DX Commander and the NFET Halfwave are struggling with that. Uh, that signal. Uh, let's see if we can select another one. So as you can tell, the NFET halfwave seems to be getting a little bit better luck with this, this signal from this one colleague. So it can change from uh, one station to the next, and definitely by the band. See if there's anything in 17 meters. It seems like the band is closed now. But uh, that gives you a brief introduction about diversity reception using a vertical and uh, NFET halfwave uh, as receiver 1 and receiver 2 respectively. And using these presets, I find this to be a very good feature of this uh, diversity reception GUI, uh, graphical user interface, that not only does it allow us to do the VFO sync, uh, this enabling and uh, disabling, and also the receiver source, we want to use both, but also which is the reference source. Once we get a sweet spot, we can save it by doing a shift click to store. And then that uh, can be then quickly thumbed through in the future for optimum reception. So anyway, we go to this new doctor down here. You know what? The whole way very, very, very nice fellow. And he says he trained with that new trigger with that new, but that new trained him in how to do trigger fingers. So a little bit about that. He said he knew he knew the new way to do it. Okay. Yeah, Roger that. No, that's a that's a in and out kind of surgery, and still do good fine. I'm sure she'll be too great. So. And she'll be very glad that she did what she did because not having the use of that finger is going to come back to her and she's going to be happy about that. So this is a brief introduction and uh, hopefully it was helpful. <laughs>